Hello there, I'm Scotty. You're not. You weren't black and white, which means you're talking about an old TV show. Uh, or movie. But it's a TV show. We're talking about something that was in black and white, so that's why we gotta do it. Um, so, if any of you are even watching this, I hope you are. And maybe I have older audiences that know this show. Uh, so I woke up this morning. Right. And on my phone, I noticed there was a thing on one of the channels that I, I guess I'm subscribed to. I forgot I was. No offense to the guy. This channel, I'm going to go check out this thing. He, what he does, he does Nick at Night blocks. There are channels on YouTube like Rinse Repeat or Childhood Network which would do old programmings that are from like Saturday mornings or something and they'll insert commercials. This one was a Nick at Night one and it is from... Zachary Jackson. Zachary Jackson. And he does these Nick at Night things. So I saw this and I went, well, I grew up watching Nick at Night. Love Nick at Night. So I clicked it, not knowing it. It says, uh, Nick at Night, 90s broadcast, reimagined, classic TV, guest stars. So I start watching. I don't, I didn't even look. Sometimes they put what, like in the description they put what is in there so, but I didn't look cause I remember, I, I started to remember the guy's channel I'm like okay, I know that he didn't have this you know, the list in descriptions, apparently he did in this one cause I wanted to check to make sure but it wasn't until later, so we start off with some commercials like, yeah the commercials that got me like so, uh there was a commercial for we used to be owned by Swanson's. It's not Swanson's anymore, but Hungry Man. I don't think it's still Swanson's. Did you know that they used to have a pot pie and it was like rectangle-ish? They had a commercial for some sports star. I don't know who it was. And he's like, I eat Hungry Man dinners and pot pies. And I'm like, Wait, they had Hungry Man pot pies? I get um, banquet pot pies myself. They're delicious. I I I I I, I, I have had the um, what's her face ones. I can say like in my head. You know what I'm talking about the big, the big lady who makes the pies. The, not, she's not big, but the big named lady. You know what I mean. The famous lady who makes the pies, right? So. I it's sorry, and my arm is hurting me now. My shoulder. Farts. I hurt to do that. <sighs> Shape. So I saw a bunch of commercials from the 90s that I remembered. I'm like, oh, this one, this one. There's a Bat the Batman Returns Diet Coke, which puts this from me in 1991 going to 1992. There's even a commercial later for a Buick LeSabre. However, during this episode of the show I'm going to talk about, this is the main focus of this, by the way, I'll get to it. There is a commercial for the Never Ending Story 2 and a Looney Tunes short. And that came out in 1986. So, uh, yeah, you just, you, you know, I think it, it, it worked fine in here, but those of us who know when it came in, unless it was a re release, which I don't know if they did that, but I don't know, maybe they did a 1998 re release. I don't know. Maybe they did re release it with a Looney Tunes cartoon. Who knows? Um,. I should have looked that up actually, and I didn't. I don't have my TV here, my Xbox not on. I'm still recovering from illness. I'm I'm pretty much better, but I haven't brought anything out yet. Anyway, so as I'm watching this, there's a lot of commercials, and I didn't notice this till the second time I went through this. So I watched through it, and then I got to another show, the show I'm talking about, and. And then, so then I rewatched, I watched this episode, and then I started watching the, the, the part of the next show that was on there, Rhoda, which I did watch growing up, but I was just like, I'm not into this. Uh, honestly, I would have turned it off at this first show if somebody wasn't in it, but, so, as I'm watching through, I'm noticing, watching through the second time I noticed this. Uh, there are, they start to go into a snippets of Taxi. There's a part where you see him in the garage with Taxi and it cuts. More commercials is another thing. And taxi cuts. And all of a sudden it's the ending. 
Taxi. The first time I watched it through, I only saw the end credits of Taxi, and I went, huh? And they say, up next, another episode of Taxi, and you hear... Latka. And so, okay, sure, fine. And then it starts playing the Ann Southern show. And I went, this isn't Taxi. What happened? What happened? I don't. I don't know. I don't, let me just see this. So it starts, and it's the Ann Southern show, starring Ann Southern, Katie, do, 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 and it cuts off because I guess there's maybe might have been a copyright thing for, for the opening. I'm like, okay, and the show starts proper, and a uh, lady comes in. I think it's the secretary comes in, and goes, oh, um, Katie or whatever her last name is. Um, there's a guest. She comes in, and the secretary goes, Oh, there's someone waiting for your office, a friend of yours, a Mrs. Ricardo. And she goes, Lucy Ricardo? And I went, Hold up. What? I know this was guest... I didn't realize it was guest stars, so I went back to look in the thing. I was just like, Wait, what? And so that's when I went to my phone, and I looked in there. And so that's when I realized there was supposed to be an episode of Taxi that started this whole thing off. But there wasn't because of a copyright. Thank you, YouTube. So we start off with the Ann Southern show, which really is not a show you want to start off with because it's probably not well known among I mean, all the sitcoms and stuff. But it did help that Lucille Ball was in this because otherwise I would have turned it off because I was like, I don't know if I want to watch this. The, the commercials were enticing, but I don't know. As soon as, he said, as soon as she said Lucy, Lucy Ricardo, I'm like, what? So I'm watching this. So I did my research. Before I get into the episode proper, I did my research after the fact because I, I became obsessed with this. What is this show I've never heard of? Like, I know a lot of sitcoms from back in the day. I've never heard of this show before. It's one of the earliest sitcoms to air on Nick at Night back in the 80s when it first started. So, yeah. I think 82 because uh, apparently... During the credits of this, it was saying that it was the 10th anniversary of Nick at Night. And so they're airing classics that were there when it started. So I think this was one of the first ones to air back in 1982. This is 1992, which makes sense because of that Buick the Sabre commercial. Or it's, maybe it was 81, and this was 90, late 91, I'm guessing because of... I don't know, because of some of the other stuff I saw, because of the Batman commercial. I don't know. Anyway, so the Ann Southern Show was a sitcom aired on CBS from 19... Uh, what was it? 1961? 63? No, 1968 to 61. Excuse me. And, uh, so as I'm going through this thing, I see it says CBS, and I'm like, okay. Obviously, I Love Lucy was on that channel, so that's how they got that. Well, then I saw who the producer of the show was, Desi Arnaz. Well, there you go. <laughs> and apparently this is actually a crossover with the Lucy Desi Comedy Hour, which I always thought was weird, because it came, it came out after... I love Lucy. But the first episode was basically a pilot. It was basically how Lucy and Ricky met. Which was weird. Yeah. And there was no... Like... There was no Fred. There was no Ethel. Although they did appear in the rest of the show. But there were no there. And she had a friend who I believe was played by Ann Southern. Because they say she appeared in that show as the character from her first show, Private Secretary. So I'm assuming that's who that was. Because she had a friend who saw her off at the, or maybe she was on the cruise with her, and that's how she met Ricky, because he was there with some friends on a cruise, and that, yeah. I vaguely remember, it's been years, like, <clears throat> are you kidding me? O over 25 years, I think, since I've seen that. Are you kidding me? I'm 36 years old. 37 years old. 
I mean, I was 12. No, it was more than that. It's got to be at least 30 years. Oh, I'm so old. I'm old. So, yeah. So then now Lucy's guest starring on her show. And apparently this was during the time that Rick, that Lucy and Desi were, they were on the brink of divorce. And uh, certainly the way that Lucy portrays Ricky in this episode uh, kind of, it makes sense once you know about that and once I rewatched the episode. Because I watched it twice. I watched it this morning and I started becoming obsessed with what is this show? What is this show? So then I rewatched it again so I could do this video. I'm going to do this video, so I'm going to rewatch it again. I, ten minutes in and I'm almost five minutes in and I'm top of the episode yet. We'll get to it. So, here's the G. So the episode, like I said. So the show, I can't go to the episode yet. So the show started. Uh, Anne Southern plays the character of Katie. Katie something. I keep forgetting her last name. They say it in the episode a couple times, but of Katie, who is the assistant manager to this hotel. In the first season when the show started, it, it, it was the product of tampering, retooling from the network to try to fix it. Her managers, the managers, her bosses, the managers of the place were two or an elderly couple. There was a bellhop, and there was another character, and there was a friend character. The friend character stayed. They recast the bellhop with a different actor. Ken Berry was not in this episode. And there was the best friend. And they got rid of the other guy, the desk clerk guy. And the elderly couple left. This was the middle of the first season, so they could retool it. And they brought in this new guy to play Mr. McDepp. Mr. Devery, excuse me, Mr. Devery, who is younger and is now pushed as a love interest for Katie. And it is no more evident than in this episode. So now that I've explained all that, I kind of feel like I had to. So, because I looked up, I looked it up. So, this episode starts with her walking in, the secretary says, oh, Miss Katie, I don't know her last name, there's a Miss, Mrs. Ricardo in your office. Lucy Ricardo, she walks in and they hug and they start talking and, uh, so they're talking about their relationships right now and apparently Ricky left her a note saying he was going on vacation with a friend of his who I had never heard before and that he'll be back and they can go away together some other time. Keep in mind, this was during the time that little Ricky was a thing. So the only thing I think of is that Fred and Ethel are watching the kid while they while she he's going on vacation and she's going to New York City to visit an old friend. That's all I can think of. You know. Uh, um, excuse me. So we get to talking, and then she asks, "Well, about your husband? How is he?" She's like, "I'm not." Katie goes, "I'm not married." You know, I'm just, you know, I'm single. She calls her a spinster. I'm not a spinster. What? You're single? She goes, "No, I'm a biped. I walk on two legs. I'm a biped. You can call me Katie, whatever my last name is, a biped." And then they show Mr. Devery, and immediately she's like, "Oh." Does he have a wife? And she's like, no, he's not married. And she's like, well, well, you know, he's single, you're a spinster. He's a bachelor, you're a spinster. And she's like, no, 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 no. <sighs> no, 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 not Mr. McDevery. So Lucy hashes a scheme. Imagine that. Lucy hashes a scheme. I don't think she's ever done that. But she hashes a scheme to try to get them together. So she calls Mr. McDevery, or Mr. Devery, not McDevery, it's Devery. Mr. Devery on the phone. She calls into the office to Katie with a southern voice. Hello. Uh, I'm calling for Pussycat. And she's like, who? Oh, uh, Mr. Devery. But I know him as Pussycat. Tell him Cookie is calling. Cookie? Not Cookie. Cookie. So she walks in and she goes, uh, Mr. Devery, there's a friend of yours on the line. It says her name is... So she's calling for Pussycat. Hmm? She's calling you Pussycat. No one calls me Pussycat. My name is Cookie. I don't know any Cookie. So, yeah, but then it, it cuts. After she leaves, it cuts. <coughs> the editing in this, it's the 1950s, but the edit, editing in this is kind of weird. It just kind of goes from scene to scene. It feels like they took out some commercial breaks sometimes, but they go from scene to scene. A little bit. Like, it goes from 
Devery telling her that he doesn't want to take the phone call, she leaves, and it cuts to Lucy showing up at the office. She's like, are you Mr. Devery? He's like, well, yes, I am. He's like, well, I'm in room 431 or whatever it was, and um, I'm lonely, so lonely. And so she starts flirting with him, getting him to get, she yells out the name, uh, there's a couple of inconsistencies in this episode I'll talk about, but this is the first one here. She yells out, they're talking about, she's like, maybe she like, maybe get a pet. Oh, a pet. She's like, he's like, maybe a dog. No. Or maybe a cat. cat. Yes, a cat. A pussy cat. And she yells it out, and you, it cuts to Katie sitting there at the desk, and she's like, and, and I went, the second time I watched this, I caught it. I went, wait. Wait. She's at the desk. I, I rewound it to see if there was a scene of her walking up into the desk. Because I assumed that when Lucy went into the office... Because this is one of those old school things where you go from one office to another to another. So there's a secretary outside in the hallway. And there's her office. Beautiful skyline view. And then there's Mr. M Mr. Devery's office next. So she's got to walk through Katie's office to get to Devery's office. But Katie is there. So wouldn't she have seen... Was there a scene that was cut out here? Because <clears throat> Katie would have seen her. Doesn't make any sense. And then he says... Uh, he, he, he gets her to... She gets him to say cookie. To yell, cookie! And, and again, she's like... And so they start to walk out, and this one Lucy realizes that she's there. So she wasn't there when she walked in, which is... She couldn't have been if she realized... Oh! And she puts her arms around him. <clears throat> like, she's gonna buy... She tells him she's gonna buy the cat, and that he should come by to watch it. He's like, to, to meet it. And he's like, no, 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 no. He's, he's like, fine, just to get her to leave his office. And then... So then... Uh... Um, she comes out she's caught and she's acting like oh I I disavow everything uh, and uh, she's like uh, so then Lucy is saying that she wants to hit on Mr. Devery and Mr. Devery, Devery went back in his office at this point and they're talking and so she called or um Katie calls him a stuffed pimento just as he's coming out of his office and he overhears us so now he's gonna scheme this is because this, is, this just unravels here people he schemes and he calls the secretary and he goes no he calls her later he's like, oh can you send uh a bouquet of roses up to room 483 or whatever it was 381 whatever it is so 381 381 and or whatever the number was and he's like yes that is the Ricardo room right uh yeah yes a dozen roses and um a, a box of chocolates and a whole thing a big thing of uh champagne so she's all confused and pissed at this point she's like so she calls the, the other secretary and it's like oh no she calls room service room service yes I want you to uh, get some, get one rose in not good shape, basically. Uh, a couple of candies, or a, a, a few chocolates, candies, whatever, and uh, a small thing of champagne. I sent it to room 381 or whatever it was. So then it cuts. To that and Lucy's like she didn't expect it to go this way this is where everything just goes off the rails Katie shows up and confronts her about it and so Lucy's all Lucy realizes she gotta get the hell out of there so she's packing her stuff so she can leave Katie shows up thinks, thinking she's gonna try to go meet Devery even though she's supposed to meet in his apartment they're supposed to meet in her apartment but I died, or her hotel room, excuse me, her room, uh, but it, no, so she 
we see her, she puts sleeping pills in the champagne and proposes a toast to Lucy. Lucy drinks it. And these sleeping pills, by the way, they take forever to work for the bit, I guess. I don't know. So, so she drinks the champagne, bottoms up, drinks the whole thing. And then she's like, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta get out of here. Mr. Debbie's gonna be here any minute. He takes forever, too. Just like the pills. And she's like, I knew it! You're gonna cheat on Ricky! He goes, no, I'm not gonna cheat on Ricky, I'm trying to leave. And then she gets all... They sit down, and she, she starts, starts, starts to hit her. She's like, I put sleeping pills in your... Uh, in your champagne. Now, one thing here is that this should have kicked in overdrive because pills and alcohol do not mix. So, it should have kicked in faster, if anything. But she's just like, you know, she starts to hit her. But she shows her the bottle of sleeping pills, right? And then she leaves it with Lucy and goes into the next room to do something. I don't know what it is she went to do. Lucy, we had, Lucy then decides to put a couple pills in the chocolate candy that is there and set it back. She never offers this piece of candy to Katie. She actually offers her a glass of champagne, but thinking Lucy put the pills in there, she does it and she eats the candy. She's eating the candy. So, to help Lucy go to sleep, she starts singing rock a bye Lucy in the treetop. When the Bilbo the cradle will rock, you know, and then they just start talking. She's like, I'm not. They, they do a little bit of talking, but it's a little back and forth. And she's like, no rock, but she's eating the whole candy. Once she eats the whole candy, she's like, rock a bye, Katie, in the treetop. When the wind blows, then Katie will drop. The down you will drop. And she realizes the candy because she, she didn't want to drink the wine she goes I did not put pills in the wine no it was the candy here's my issue with the candy thing is someone who when I was a kid used to they used to have to put pills in stuff to get me to take them they put in a hot dog and I crush it put my orange juice those things taste terrible she would taste the pills because unlike the wine, they're not dissolved. They're in the candy. So she took the first bite. She'd know there was something wrong because she'd taste the pills. But it's a TV show. It's a TV show. And I guess eating the, the pills <laughs> through the candy is more effective and takes less time because now they're both just... And they don't fall asleep. They're basically drunk. Which, in Lucy's case, would make sense if the alcohol, because she keeps drinking more of the champagne... The alcohol mixed with the pills, she would be Loopy Lucy, okay? But the, Katie is acting the same way, so they're all out of it. And they're like, we, we gotta get out of here. Just, she's like, you really? We're gonna go with Mr. Devery? She said, no, I was trying to make you jealous. I want you to be with them or whatever. And I, I wanna go back to Ricky. Oh, we, 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 we gotta get out of here. He's gonna be here. We gotta get out of here. Oh, that's a good idea. So she goes to open the door. It's locked. I know it's locked. Unlock it. Oh, right, good idea. Give me the key. I don't have the key. You have the key. Oh, right. But she goes in here. It's not there. It's, where could it be? Jump up and down. Again, this is Lucy telling her, her Katie to jump up and down. Jump up and down. She starts doing it. I asked not open the door. Just jump up and down. And then you hear a clunk. I heard it. That, that, that must have heard something. That must be the key. So we go looking around. She finds it. And then tells Lucy to go pick it up. It's right there at her feet. Tells Lucy to go pick it up. Lucy goes to pick it up. Hits it with her foot. Knocks it underneath the door. I went like that. Like seriously? First time I watched it anyway. I'm like seriously? <laughs> what are we going to do? We better call a cab. 
I think that was before all that. Uh, we, I think, like we, we got a guy here. We we can't drive. Well, let's call a cab or something like that. At one point they said they're gonna call a cab, because at this point they're like, well, what do we do? We we gotta get out. They hear a honking noise. That's our cab. Start heading for the balcony. By this point, Mr. Devery has showed up, finds the key in front of the door, unlocks the door, opens it to see them almost going over the balcony. Well, what are you guys doing? Uh, uh, the, we got a cab waiting for us. That's not their cab. I didn't realize till the second time. It's not their cab. They just mentioned calling a cab. And then the door, <laughs> they hear a honk. It's not their cab. So Mr. Devery then tries to explain to them and says that he actually didn't want to be with Mrs. Ricardo, Ricky Ricardo, Ricky, Lucy, with Lucy, excuse me. He only did it because he overheard Katie call him stuff pimento. You, uh, you eavesdropper. And they're, uh, he's doing this whole spiel and then they just sort of pass out. And that's where the episode ends because then the credits roll after the commercial. I don't know. I remember if that's how it worked back then. If they, because it goes from, they fall asleep, commercials, and credits. I don't remember if that's how. It, maybe it did because I, I, I seem to now think of different strokes doing that. But also sometimes, sometimes I feel like sometimes it would just go from one to another. I don't know. It depends on when. Like I remember when we went to Snick. There would be credits, then a bunch of commercials, and then for each of the block, it, there would be end credits, next show right away. Although maybe sometimes it is different. I don't know. This this episode didn't. I almost kind of want to check out other episodes of this show, but it was interesting. I never heard of the show before. If Lucy wasn't on on the episode, I probably wouldn't have watched it. But seeing as I'm a fan of older sitcoms like this, I don't know if I could find more episodes, I might check them out, but I don't know, it was interesting. It was interesting. The show lasted three seasons, like I said. I don't know how it ended, I didn't look it up, I didn't want to spoil myself in case I want to watch more, but this was interesting. And this is the start of, I want to try, I want to make this the start of, I'm going to do TV Week. All this week, I just want to talk about TV shows. You know what I mean? Uh, whether it's a bunch in a day or once a day or whatever, this is the first of that. Now, not that it might get a lot of views, but you know. Whatever. Today's the day. If you're watching the day this is premiering, it's Labor Day. Enjoy yourselves. Have a hot dog on a meat. Uh, so, not like that. Or steak. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, thank you for watching. I've been Sky, and I'll see you in the next one.